Hello and welcome back to Crucial Tech. I'm your host CJ. So today we'll be installing the TWRP recovery on the Xiaomi Mi A2. So to start with, make sure that you've backed up your device and you've charged the device. First thing is to download all the files from the links that are provided down in the description. The very first thing is to download the Android platform tools. We paste in the link on the browser. And then if you're on Windows, choose Windows. If you're on Mac, choose Mac. If you're on Linux, so for me, I'll go with Windows because I'm on a Windows machine. Then give it time to download. Once the download is complete, open the zipped file and extract to a folder. I've created a folder on the desktop, but you can create a folder anywhere, but make sure that everything we'll be using is in one folder. So I will extract them to this folder called TWLP on the desktop. So going back to the desktop, we have this folder. And when you open the folder, we have another folder with platform tools. When you open the folder, these are the tools that we'll be using to flash the TWRP on the phone. So next, we download the TWRP image, paste it on your browser. I'll choose America, you can choose America, Europe, depending on the nearest server to where you are. For me, I'll go with America. Choose the TWRP, the latest one, depending on when you'll be watching this video, download the latest TWRP image. So first we'll go with the .img, download, download to the folder that we created. So I created a folder on the desktop, go back to the same folder, and inside the platform tools is where you'll save your download. Once that is done, go back to the same link and now download the same version but now the, the .zip file. Once the download is complete, do not extract this one. Just make sure it is in the same folder as all the other tools, but do not extract it. Just leave it as it is. The other thing we need to download is the force encrypt disabler. So again, paste it on your browser. Go to DM Verity force Encry encryption and disk quota disabler. And at the bottom, download the DM Verity Force Encryption and Disk Quota Disabler. Now the very first thing to download is Magisk. Paste it again on your browser, the link, the last link, and you'll have a few releases. I will go with 21.4, so download 21.4.zip. Again, save to the same folder. Once you've downloaded all the tools on the phone, Go to settings, scroll to the top about phone, then scroll to the very bottom, tap the build number seven times, then enter your pin. Now after entering your pin, go back, scroll to the very bottom, system, advanced, and you'll find developer options. Scroll down till you find USB debugging and turn it on. Allow USB debugging, okay. Connect the phone to the computer. After connecting, go back to the folder that we created and at the very top, type CMD and then press enter. Once the command prompt opens, type ADB space devices. This is to confirm if your device is well connected to the computer or if the computer can communicate with your device successfully. 
once you see your list of devices and your de there is a device there it will mean that your device has successfully connected if you get a pop-up to accept usb debugging on the machine click yes so after that you're going to type a d b reboot fast boot and then press enter your phone will reboot into the fast boot mode wait once it gets to this point and you see the fast boot screen now type fast boot then boot and then drag dot the twrp.img not the not the zip the dot img and then press enter the phone will reboot into the recovery now this will take a few minutes okay once the phone uh, boots up successfully into TWRP recovery. Now swipe to allow modifications and then go to advanced ADB side load and then swipe to start side load. Then back on the command prompt, write ADB side load space and then now drag in the zip twrp file and then press enter now once that is done go back back once again and then go to wipe and you will need to format data so if you did not back up your files, this is the point where you pause and go back and back up your files if you forgot to back up your files. But if you followed my suggestion at the beginning and backed up your file, then let's move on. Then click format data and then type yes. If you're sure, press OK. This is going to format the data so that TWRP can read the encrypted data on the device. Once the formatting is done, go back and then go to reboot and choose recovery. The device will reboot back into recovery mode. Again, swipe to allow modification and now on the computer you will need to access the disabled DM Verity file that we, we downloaded earlier copy it and paste it paste, uh, copy it and paste it into the internal storage of the device Once that is done, go back to the phone, tap on install, and select the disable force, and then swipe to confirm flash. Once this is done, if you do not need to root your device, you can just reboot to system and your device will have TWRP but no root. But now, if you need to root the device, again we need to copy. another the magisk file that we downloaded magisk 21.4 zip copy and again paste it into the internal storage of the device so on the device go back install choose magisk swipe to confirm flash now once that is done 
now reboot your system at this point it is rooted this is going to take some time because the phone right now has lost all the data and it will start afresh like a formatted phone so this is going to take some minute now and it has finished so once it's back set it up and now you have a phone that has twrp and it's rooted if this video helped you leave a thumbs up subscribe to the channel for more tips and tricks on your devices see you on the next one peace